Welcome, friend, to OpenGFS. Hi, friends. It's Teacher Lily, and today we're going to talk about an artist named Jack Whitten. Jack Whitten is one of my favorite artists, and I'll show you why. He's really good at using color. There's Jack. Take a look at that. Pretty cool, right? When you look at this painting, there's a lot happening. And what my students said, it looks like a lot of little scribbles, right? But then if you take a closer look at some of those scribbles, you can start to see little things inside of those scribbles, like faces, and my students said some animals and stuff. One said a hat, but I like to see, try and find all the little faces that are in here, pretty cool. So we're gonna try our hardest to make our own Jack Whitten inspired artwork. So what you need for this activity are crayons. And what we're going to do is this is basically gonna be like a scribble explosion. There's gonna be so many scribbles you don't know what to do. And we can use all colors of your crayons that you have. So I'm gonna start with red. I think it's a great starting color. Um, it's a primary color. So, so what we're going to do is what we're going to do is we're going to find the middle of our piece of paper, okay? And we're going to do that with our finger first. So where's the middle of your piece of paper? And then what you're going to do is you're going to draw a little dot right there in the middle. That's going to be our starting point, okay? Now get your muscles going because we're actually going to end up doing a lot of movement in this piece. We're gonna turn our piece of paper as we go, all right? So we're gonna make a scribble in the middle of our piece of paper, all right? And then what we're going to do is we're gonna find another color and we're gonna put a scribble right next to it. Whoa. We're gonna to continue to do it all around the red. Now the rule is we don't wanna put the same color next to each other. Do you see how I'm turning this as I go? So make sure you're doing different colors next to each other. All right, so I got my first kind of grouping here. I'm gonna dump out some of these colors so I can get a handle on them. All right, and we're gonna keep going. Let's see, where, where will I go next? Hmm, yellow. All right, so again, I'm gonna start where I finished off. I'm gonna start up here, and I'm gonna take different colors, and I can turn my paper so I can get a good kind of angle so I don't have to turn my body too much. We're gonna end up turning the paper more. And do you remember when I was saying light pressure, medium pressure, and heavy pressure? I'm mostly using heavy pressure right now. So I really wanna get as much color as I can onto this piece of paper as possible. You see how I'm turning it as I go? All right. So now I am using two of the same color, but do you see how they're not right next to each other, right? So there's some pink and yellow in between these two blues. That's what we're looking for. We want to try and add a lot of color without repeating them next to each other. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I broke a crayon. We should start timing and see how long it takes for me to break a crayon each time. And I'm still going. Still going. Now I did put two diff two blues next to each other, but they're different shades of blue, so that works. Brown because 
to me it's like almost it's all the colors all the primary colors together it took me a while to find some more red huh and I can get bigger with my scribbles if I want to as long as I am using hard pressure to get that scribble down Ooh. how are your hands feeling I'm getting tired already black in there. If your hand ever gets too tired, this is what I tell my students to do. Just shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. I'm just scribbling and scribbling here. Have you ever read this story, Not Just a Scribble? It's a really good story about a little scribble. He realizes how important he is as a scribble. Because really, oops, I broke another crayon. Really, <laughs> all art kind of starts with a scribble, right? So as long as you can scribble, you can really do that's really the starting point to anything. Now that got a little close to those two purples, but still somewhat far away. Find some more on here. Okay. Oops. Orange and orange. Let's not do that. All right. So I'm just gonna, now that I've been going around a little bit, I'm gonna start going in different directions too. The idea is to try and fill up your whole piece of paper. We'll see how far we get here. Because it really is quite a workout. Oops, I'm gonna have to put some blue in the middle there. Do you have a favorite color you like to use? Some people have different colors they like to use versus their favorite color. I like to use dark colors when I'm coloring, but my favorite color is yellow, which is very light color. But I like yellow because it reminds me of the sun. It reminds me of happy things like flowers. We're really just gonna keep scribbling here. Ooh. You'll see that I have different size crayons too. All right, now I'm starting to fill in some of these open spaces. So now that I've kind of filled in that whole area in the middle, I still have some edges on the side that I want to fill in. So I'm just going to take my crayons. I'm going to fill in those areas with lots of scribble, okay? Jack Whitten's a really cool artist. He likes to think of his work as process. And so process art, in a sense, is, it's more about actually doing it than what you make. Sometimes your artwork kind of tells you where to go. So you don't always have to listen to you know, step by step stuff. Sometimes artists really just like to follow 
where their lines kind of lead them, right? So what I'm gonna do, so I've basically filled in this whole thing now with scribbles, right? Now I'm gonna add, just in some of the white spaces, I'm gonna add some more color. I'm adding some black to kind of give it some dimension here. All right. Oh, it's looking really scribbly. You can layer some colors on top of each other if you need to or want to. All right, I'm just covering things up. All right, so I have this awesome scribble. If you want to, now you can add some of your own little details. So Jack Witten, as my student said, found some, they found some faces in his artwork. So let's add some faces in here. I'm just gonna just add some faces. And the idea of these are that they don't really look. Like faces at first, you got to kind of look at them, right? All right. Here is my final piece of work. I hope you had fun. I hope your hand didn't get too tired. <laughs> Mine is. All right. Bye.